The first time I watched The Graduate I was 13 years old and I felt audacious because on the DVD case it said it was PG-16. I don't know if it was because I was still missing three years, but that first time I didn't fully understand it. Some years later I watched it again and it became one of my favorite films. And all thanks to a comedian turned theater director turned movie director. Mike Nichols passed away last month. These were my thoughts. I watched a couple of videos of his Sophie Life Achievement Award and Justin Hoffman told this anecdote. While shooting and graduate, the scene of the first sexual encounter with Mrs. Robinson, he started laughing and he couldn't stop. So to cover it, he turned around and started banging his head against the wall. Mike Nichols decided to leave that take. I hope one day um, the actors I will direct can remember me that way, in a funny and fond way. Only 12 people in history have achieved an EGOT, and if you don't know what that is, it's like the four major awards in entertainment, an Emmy, an Oscar, a Grammy, and a Tony. Mike Nichols is one of those 12, with people like Audrey Hepburn and Whoopi Goldberg and the guy who wrote Let It Go. But he didn't just win one of each, he won nine fucking Tonys. Not one, not two, nine. I recently found out about his theater career and that's mind-blowing because he was such an amazing movie director and such an amazing theater director it seems. When I started dating my girlfriend I called her Mrs. Robinson because she's two years older than me. I don't think she liked it. <laughs> recently I wrote my first real short film for university and it's the story of Alan, this guy that's abandoned by his girlfriend and just after that he bumps into his second grade teacher who had been his first love. In the first draft, romantic comedy triumphed and he had to fight for her and win her and there was the age difference, but they ended up together. On the final draft, the one we actually filmed, they end up together but in her bed. And that's it, just a one night stand. And when we did the casting for the actress, there was like basically one direction, you are Mrs. Robinson, because she had been the sole inspiration for the character. Thank you Mike Nichols for making such amazing movies and for influencing my life this way. I won't ever be able to thank you personally, but I swear that the day I win an Oscar, I'm gonna dedicate it to you, or at least try to convince my university group to dedicate our short film to your memory. I don't know which will be harder. Oh, and I almost forgot. Plastics.